going to record this so folks uh, uh, can can watch it at a later time, hopefully. And um, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, my part of the agenda, which is basically sharing pictures of all of the folks we worked with all together. Uh, I didn't miss anybody, did I? I hope not. Nope. Okay, so let's. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, start this uh, little picture show and I'll be talking through it as well. So hang tight. Um, let's see, share screen. Okay, so this should start the, uh, let's see. All right, what happened to there? <laughs> Zoom is, uh, <laughs> Holy mackerel. Yeah, Bill, a guy named Murphy designed What's it. That? A guy named Murphy designed it. Yes, yes, exactly. Are you seeing a screen now? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, I think we finally got there. Sorry about that, guys. You see something that says these are the people that made it happen? Yes. Okay, there you go. Okay, Bill Evans was the state conservation engineer when I um, started in 1975. And I, I asked him for some uh, information on... <laughs> And he, he was actually a member of both our California engineering design staff as well as the, uh, the West End DC. And I just realized he's not on this program either. So he might have had some problems getting in as well. But you can see 1972 through 1977, uh, state engineer in California, head, head of the engineering staff at the West End DC, 87 through 90. And uh, in Bill Evans' own words, he says, boy, there's been a lot of water under the bridge since then, so. <laughs> All right, Ted Dubois followed him. And I, I can say with uh, certainty that Ted was uh, a wonderful state conservation engineer. He was, uh, he started his career in Colorado, but spent the last 26 years of his career in California. He was one of the nicest, most beloved leaders in our agency. He was a gentle soul with a warm and caring personality. And everybody loved Ted, loved working for him, just loved being around him. When he retired in 1987, he became an associate pastor at his church. And um, he passed away just last, last year, 2019 actually. Anyway, he was a wonderful person, wonderful person to work with. Um, just incredible. Okay, here's a great picture of the California engineering staff, or at least a good part of them uh, back in about 1978. And uh, what I'm gonna try to do here is I just wanna recognize a lot of these folks here, folks that I can still remember their names. And I, I do remember most of these folks great group of people to work with. And I'm gonna start with the um, the lower uh, row of folks sitting at the table there, starting on the far right. Uh, I'm going to recognize these folks here. This is, that's Charles Davis, who was a state design engineer at that time. Ray Jesperson, a contract specialist. Mario Milani, who was um, our state construction engineer when he retired. Uh, the other folks there to the left of Mario, that's uh, Bert Com Balsi, that's uh, Chuck Velasquez, and then I'm going to move up to the upper folks standing there, The starting on the right side again on the far right, uh, that's uh, Herbie Middleton, there's Ted Trabaz who was state engineer, and then there's uh, Jim Middleton, a construction inspector, uh, Ed Denton, uh, Lauren Schilder, there's Dave Rexroth who was a contract specialist, uh, I see Ralph Blair back there, uh, and then Jim Chandler. Um, I think 
that's Jim Kimmel next, and then Bob Albers, there's Jim Chapman, and then the next person I actually recognize is the tall fellow in the very far back there, uh, that's uh, Virgil Backlund. Next to him is Tom Benson, then there's Tom Hill, Jack Castle, and then Harold Honeyfield, who was our assistant state engineer at that time. A great group of folks. And a lot of these people were heavily involved in our PL-566 as well as EWP work. And actually, I think this group was uh, a special group for EWP that, uh, where we had a lot of work back in 1978. Anyway, a great group of folks here. Okay, here's a nice picture of Ted out in the field looking at one of our watershed projects. Ted loved to get out in the field and see our projects on the ground. And here he is with a uh, looking at our San Miguelito channel project, part of San Inez watershed project. And over on the far right, that's a couple of our program managers, Will Fontenot and Bill Payne. Here's a nice picture of uh, Ted um, and Ms. Chuck Velasquez in the middle of myself. Uh, this is at one of our retiree lunches. We used to meet uh, once a month um, in Davis and, and get together and have fellowship and uh, just enjoy each other's company. That was the Charles Davis era. Charles um, became state conservation engineer after uh, uh, after Ted, and um, he just re well, he retired in 2009. But uh, anyway, he had about 21 years as a state conservation engineer, and he was a great um, state conservationist as well. Um, and I was fortunate that Charles was my supervisor for 21 years. No, 20. Let's see, what was it? 27 years. Hard to believe. <coughs> but anyway, that was part of that was when I was on the design staff under him, and then. When he became the, the state conservation engineer, at that point, uh, he was my supervisor there uh, as I became the state design engineer. Here's a really nice picture of Charles and Vicki Davis. And Charles at this time was the state conservation engineer. And uh, Charles and Vicki were married for 48 years. They had two sons, Christopher and Michael, uh, two grandchildren. Devin and Charlotte, and um, Charles and Vicki were members of St. James Catholic Church. Uh, they both led uh, a par parish marriage prep program working with many engaged couples over a number of years. Charles was a third degree black belt in the martial art of Tang Soo Do, and was an instructor at Davis Art Center for that, uh, that uh, calendar as well. Charles was a car enthusiast he had a special love for Nissan Z's. He loved being with his family. He loved good music, the ocean, good food, and was a big Dallas Cowboy fan as well. All right, here's a picture of the California engineering staff in about 2000. And um, this is a, a great group of folks to work with. And uh, I'm going to recognize these folks by name only. Uh, I'm going to start at the far right. That's Harold Honeyfield. There's Charles Davis, um, Mario Milani, uh, Jim, he got his last name. Uh, that's uh, Danny Maxim, Virgil Backlund, Betty Bramhall, uh, Lyle Stephan, myself, Tom Smith, and Bob Snipers. Here's the combined engineering and design staff uh, a few years later, 2007. And again, a great group of folks to work with. Some of these folks are on my design staff, some of them are on the engineering staff. And I'm going to recognize them as well, beginning on the right hand side of uh, the screen here. That's uh, Dan Johnson, uh, Teresa Velasquez. Dan Juan, Marina Barajas, uh, Arturo Carpajal, uh, uh, Pat Grover, Charles Davis, 
uh, Mary Ann Hallett, myself. And then at the bottom of the screen here, that's uh, on the right is uh, Carlos Velasquez and Jim Chapman. Charles always had a great smile. He just uh, always seemed to be, you know, in a good mood. Um, again, this was our after retirement. Basically, we had we had some monthly breakfasts, we had monthly lunches. And it was always good to get together and, and stay connected. Here is Mario Milani, who uh, retired as California State Construction Engineer. Mario had a wonderful career. He started in 1956. Uh, he enjoyed a 46 year career with SCS. And while he had a whole bunch of different positions throughout his career, the one he loved and had the most passion for was as a state construction engineer under Charles Davis. During his time as state construction engineer, he worked on construction issues in California, Nevada, Washington, Utah, Hawaii, Iowa, and the Pacific Basin. All right, here's a wonderful picture of uh, Mario and Jim Milani at uh, Mario's retirement event back in 2002. Mario was married to Jim for 56 years. They had uh, three children, two sons, Paul, David, Paul and David, and a daughter, Jeanette, Janet. Uh, they had a whole bunch of, they had a number of grandchildren and even some great grandchildren. They definitely enjoyed a wonderful family life. Um, as well as uh, Mario enjoyed a wonderful career with uh, with SCS as well. Hey Joe, uh, Jim Milani dug up some pictures for me, and Mario started in 1956. Um, pretty incredible picture there. He was basically talking to this farmer about soil erosion at this point, and. Um, it was really neat to find some of these pictures like this. Okay, a little story here. <laughs> Mario was noted for his uh, dedication to the project engineers out in the field. I mean, his number one priority was basically to provide them the help they needed at the instant they asked for it. So he was on the road a lot and uh, he was basically, that was his number one priority was to help those project engineers out there. And at some point, I don't know who drew this picture, but somebody drew this picture, Jim shared this with me. And uh, it was basically a, um, a tribute to his dedication. He was either flying somewhere or driving somewhere. And it was always to help these project engineers. Uh, there's Mike Simmons down at this one point. Uh, there's Ed Denton. There's Chuck Velasquez, and uh, it just, uh, this one thing up here, it's a little bit hard to read, but uh, the artist put this in here. I'll just read it for you. I hope I can read it. This is Captain Mari, uh, this is Captain Milani speaking. Your problem is mine, son. Hang in over there, hang in, over and out. So that was his message to the project engineers as this artist, uh, you know, drew it up. So anyway, again, that was his dedication to, to the project engineers, the thing he took so much pride in doing all the time. <clears throat> this is uh, going back in time a little bit when Charles was state design engineer and these were all the engineers that were on his staff. And I'm over here in this uh, one side of the picture there. Um, we had a really good design staff, really uh, some sharp design engineers and got a lot of work. The fact is, I'm, I'm guessing that probably most of the PO566 stuff that we got, you know, was probably during the period when Charles was design engineers. I know we did a little bit of everything, but uh, anyway, he got a lot of work done. <laughs>
This was my design staff in about 1990. And uh, we had a good strong staff. There's Jim Chapman over on the far side. And Jim worked for me for many, many years as well. I was fortunate. Uh, you were my supervisor for 23 years. Okay. All right. How about <laughs> that? Thanks. A long time. Yes, it was a long time. And it was a blessing for me, that's for sure. Yeah, my pleasure. Okay, here we go with a couple of uh, real stalwarts as well. These folks, uh, one of the uh, far far left is uh, John Haynes and this is Tom Smith. They were both on uh, um, Charles' staff as design engineers. And at a later point, uh, Tom Smith uh, moved over to the engineering staff as a, a state soil mechanics engineer. And this was a unique group of uh, people, <laughs> engineers, and uh, this this trio here. I think some people called them the three musketeers. I'm not. Yes, sure. they did. <laughs> the three goofballs sometimes. Yeah, anyway, they became really <laughs> wonderful friends as well. And uh, so over here on the far left is Tom Smith, uh, uh, state soil mechanics engineer. We got Danny Maxim in the center. He was uh, on the staff as a uh, civil engineering technician. And over here on the far right, of course, again, is Bob Snikas. And uh, these guys had, I think, too much fun hanging out and doing things all the time. But they got a lot of great things done. And they were a great asset uh, to our staff there. OK, here's we get to the, the, the West End TC helping California. And I mentioned that uh, they uh, provided the same kind of assistance to it, uh, maybe, I don't know how many states, maybe a dozen Western states. But anyway, it was just wonderful having them to call on. They did, again, they did reviews for us. They did actual design assistance. Um, uh, just a little tidbit, uh, Don was sharing with, with me a while back uh, about how he was involved in the design of uh, the Pine Creek Debris Basin Embankment. It was in the Bay Area, a high seismic uh, hazard area. And he, he remembered how that they used a seismic coefficient of 0.2G in, in that analysis. And Bob Snikas was really heavily involved in that design as well from a, um, a visual standpoint. And uh, in a future meeting, we, we want to basically do a little more focused uh, overview and, and uh, review of this project. And, I know Bob's got a lot of pictures that uh, we're going to be able to share too. So we're going to do this again. So anyway, that's just a, a little heads up. So there's there's the engineering staff um, part of the West End TC, and I'll, I'll go ahead and say a few things about this. And um, anyway, this is the engineering staff, and um, upper right hand corner that's Don Wallen, who is part of the engineering staff, but he was the design, he was the state design, no, he was the design staff leader of the West End TC, but I, you know, there's people on here like Cliff Beal uh, that I worked with and, um, um, you know, uh, just a whole bunch of people. Virgil Backlund in the middle here as well. Anyway, great group of guys. I didn't work as many, as closely with all these folks, but this next group, um, see here this is uh this is don's uh design staff and we work closely with uh these folks here you can see there's lee sale over here um and i work closely with lee and and lamont robbins and this other individual here this is jim dunlap and jim provided some really uh heavy duty design assistance on one of our um Gatsby watershed dams the blackburn dam and um, so anyway, these guys were a great resource for us and uh, it was wonderful to have them there. Just a point of interest, Bill, um, this was the picture I was referring to and they show me here with really black hair. I never had black <laughs> hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody must have, yeah, you're right, you know, and uh, so anyway, I think somebody did a little photo of catch up, yeah. but uh, y'all look good. Project engineers, 
uh, key folks. Uh, this is one of the best, Mike Simmons. Did a lot of work uh, down with uh, Peter's group. And, and uh, anyway, uh, Mike was one of the best, no doubt about that. Ventura County people. Gosh, I'm really disappointed <clears throat> you was not be able, be able to connect here. He says we can't find the uh, link. But anyway, uh, I got I had the pleasure of working with three primary folks. Alex J. Day was the first person that was there when I uh, uh, first joined the service. And um, besides Alex, I've, been, I've worked with his son, Peter, who's on here for, for many years. And uh, he play ball. He, for whatever reason, can't get on, but uh, those are the three people I work with the most. So this is just something, a uh, little uh, something I found regarding Alex. I think he got a um, from his obituary, but he had a wonderful career with uh, Ventura County, 35 years. He worked with us many years and brought incredible projects uh, to Ventura County, including Beardsley and Rep. Okay, Peter Shaday, he's on with us today. Thank you, Peter, for joining us. And uh, uh, anyway, he's uh, carried on his father's legacy and doing a great job down there. Lee Claybaugh, another great engineer that I got to work with and really enjoyed. And you know, one of the things I was thinking about is trying to put this together. One of the things I really enjoyed a lot was a uh, personal connection with everybody that I got to work with. Um, I hadn't talked to Hugh in years, and I don't know how many years, maybe 10 years, I, I don't know. But anyway, when I, I got his number from Peter, and when I called him up, I said, gee, this is a, a voice from the past, Bill Ward. And he was, Bill Ward! And it was like we never we never even stopped talking. I just, I was just you know, I'm just overwhelmed, uh, again, by the connections and and the personal relationship that was able to be developed with lots of folks. It's just incredible. And uh, anyway, he had a, a very long career as well. And um, I really enjoyed working with you. I'm disappointed he was not able to get connected with us. And uh, again, working with Santa Barbara County for many years, and it's been a great relationship. Uh, Tom Fayram has been the head as long as I can remember. I know there was somebody before him, but <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> who it was. Uh, anyway, um, it's just been great working with Tom and all the staff down there. <laughs> When I asked for pictures of, of what the folks that are going to be part of today's thing, I got this one from John Fry, and uh, John's one of the, the stalwarts down there these days. And I think Tom had a comment about this. I, it was kind of interesting. Uh, do you remember what his comment was, John? Uh, he I should remember what his comment was because he is my boss. However, I don't remember what his comment is. Well, it was it was it was something to the effect that, well, this is another fine mess you've gotten into. So oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, something like that. And you know, and John actually, John and I talked about this a little bit, and and uh, it's not an easy job trying to provide flood protection for people in places like this that have these intense rainstorms and and debris flows and I think basically what it relates to is there's a lot of people down there that could still use this kind of um, protection and it's just a difficult job to get it these days so uh, anyway I think this may have been one of those problem styles. This is Matt Griffin another one of the one of the current engineers doing a lot of the design work down there and, and uh, really doing a good job getting this uh, this kind of work done. This is one of my favorite pictures um, from recent times of working with people. 
myself, uh, Tom Sayram in the middle, and Doug Hayes on the far far right side. Uh, this was a, a visit down there on Santa Monica Debris Basin, and um, just a um, weird process at that time of trying to figure out exactly all the final details of what was going to be designed. And um, we also had a, a peer review team down there, I think, at this time. What year was that, Bill? That was about, um, let's see, it was about two or three years ago, I think, two, two years ago, maybe. I'm thinking of. Okay, so this is, you know, this is recent. This is real recent, then. Yes, it's pretty recent. But, I, you know, well, basically, you know, Santa, it was only two or three years ago when they had that big storm down there, and Santa Monica debris basin basically saved the day. Uh, yeah, okay, because I was, that's the job that I remember in California. I never was on the job in the state, but I reviewed it in the NTC. Okay, yeah, that makes the design. sense. Design. Yeah, yeah, we, and had, I, I, we, had a, we had a group of people down there from the NTC that participated in, uh, um, in a peer review of, of, of sorts. So yeah, this is, this is that, uh, that project, so. Uh, <laughs> And and John Fry is going to be sharing a lot more about this in the in the second okay. part of our session. Yeah. Here. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Doug Hayes talking to the folks there. And I believe this is uh, this is part of the peer review team. Um, I forgot this individual's name. Uh, uh, John Fry, do you remember this person's name? I wish I did. No, I don't. Yeah. Anyway, he was an NRCS person there that was involved in, in a peer review. Doug Hayes and some of a combination of um, flood control staff. Now we're going to jump back a few years. This was my retirement. Uh, one of my re uh, retirement gatherings in, in, in the 2010 and uh